Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, where we're playing the Chickasaw Nation. We've just started some extra buildings, and we're gonna need that money that's gonna come in from it. We're waiting on our mission to improve in uh, relations with the creek. Should be done here in a second. Maybe just uh, two more months. And then we'll see what pops up next. Uh, we want to go to war with the uh, Choctaw. I apologize for my bad pronunciation. So that's given us some extra diplomatic power. Insult Choctaw. Okay, excellent. We can do that first and then go conquer them. Excellent, good, good. So we'll go ahead and bring them back from the uh, Cherokee. Uh, what do we want to do? Relationship. There we go. Send insult. There we go. Easy, easy military power. Uh, we could accumulate money, but I don't think that's what we want to do. Conquer to home. So we will want to attack them here. Hmm. Yeah, we can attack here. Take this. Do we want to actually conquer this province too? It's going to cost us some uh, diplomatic or um, administrative points to make it into a core, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have to use it anyway. We're gonna be here for a while waiting for the Western powers, so we might as well do it. Okay. Can't send a diplomat just yet. Is my maintenance up. Yep. Excellent. How long do we need to wait? 18th? Okay, let's go for it. We'll take, uh, we'll take Creek into the war with us. I wonder even if we could uh, perhaps vassalize the Cherokee. That would be amazing because then we could turn around and use them to um, stab our friends in the back, you know, as, as we are wont to do in Europa Universalis. 32? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and, because I don't think he's got any other notable allies, we'll go ahead, declare war. No, nope, we're not going to be offering you an alliance. And we will uh, consider him a co-belligerent. So, we're going to go down here, take him out. Will we cross? No, we won't cross a river. Excellent. And our amazing general. There we go. Let's go back here, take him out. Okay, go ahead and stomp them. Help out our folks. Go ahead and get rid of them, guys. Anytime you want. There we go. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and let them reinforce, I think. How much do we need? Yeah. Ah, here we go. We don't want them to occupy the province. So that was actually fortunate to see. Do you have... You don't have any in Siege. Um, so, what we might do... Let's take our army, split them up a little bit. You come over here and help this Siege. Once these guys get back to a thousand, I'm going to send my general home. I don't want him to die. Actually... Ooh. They're crossing through. Ooh. Ooh, that could be nasty. Well, let's go ahead and get our hmm, morale leader shock. That would put him up to six, I think. Land force limit. Land attrition. Yeah. Hmm. I think... I think morale would probably be the way to go here. Uh, ooh, it's a tough one, actually. Let's go with morale. At the rate that I'm gaining uh, military points, it won't be too long before I get the next one. What, is, what do they cost? They cost uh, 500? A little bit more than ideas. Okay, where are you going? You'll be there on the 15th. You are going after Chakota. Oh, uh, hmm. Do I have the force to actually hold you off? You'll be there on the 26th. Eesh. Can I count on my ally to come to my aid? 
I don't know. We'll just have to see. Oh, really? You caught him? Oh. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ally. You actually came to my aid. Okay, let's go ahead and occupy this province. At least get the war goal. Naval research gone wrong. Well, that could be because we don't uh, have any coasts. I don't know. Let's lose some prestige. Uh, we want to keep keep moving on some of those technologies. Good, good. Yeah, go after them, please. How are we doing on repairs? Reinforcements, sorry. You're doing okay. What is that? Wood? Are you building anything? Yeah, you are. Hey, we can already go for another, uh, another one. Let's see. Diplomatic. Uh, better relations over time. Colonist. Let's go for the colonist. We won't be able to... We're not going to start just yet because we don't have enough income to really support a colony. But let's keep going. Yep. Keep fighting them. Fight the good fight. Hmm, let's see. Uh, we can recall our diplomat, yeah. Hey, there we go. Um, sure. Go over, take care of them. Come siege this. Excellent, excellent. There we go. That's right, siege, siege my allies province, I don't care. We'll come over there and jointly stop you later. Peace offer? I don't think so. I want to vassalize your your friend. I should try to siege their capital, if I can. Where are you going? Okay, that's fine. I think what I'll do is I'll cross over here. Yeah, as soon as this siege is over. Shouldn't be very long. Any time now. Although he might he might finish his siege before I do, which is fine. If he if he wants to fight my ally, that's absolutely okay. And in fact, I think that my ally will probably go and attack him as soon as he's done with his siege. There we go. Excellent. Okay, yeah, let's go get him. We don't even have to pass through the, uh, that territory. Yep, wasting your troops, that's fine. Nope, you don't get peace yet. Hey, look at that! You got a border with me. That's a bad idea. <laughs> let's see, walls breached. Hmm. My one concern is that, uh... Come on, go after him. Go. Let's see, unrest. Chickasaw. Uh... Ooh. Ooh, that would be... That would be kinda nasty, actually. Let's go ahead and avoid that. Let's avoid unrest right now. We don't need it when we're at war. I bet... I think that I could even, uh... Yeah, I could definitely take them. Let's see, what are they offering? No. Nothing I'm interested in. Come on, man, I'm trying to grow an empire here. Yep, he's going after him. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, go kill him. How much war score do we have with them? And how much would it take to make him a vassal? Not much, actually. We could do it. Let's see, where are you going? You're going after them? That's fine. We are almost we almost have you. Especially with this being your capital. That'll be good. And uh sorry, Creek, but you're not gonna get anything out of this. 
I know, I know. You guys, you guys want peace, and uh, I think so do my people. Our war exhaustion is going up. Probably because I'm taking unnecessary attrition, but uh, that's okay. Let's see, is that going to be enough? Not quite. Not quite. I could go after him directly. Hills? Would I cross a river? No, I wouldn't. Excellent. Let's go after him. I think that we can do it. Yep, and our ally even joined in. Are you ready to go? Not quite. Not quite. Let's go ahead and stomp him. Who's the attacker here? Creek. Oh my goodness. We are at war and while we'll ruled our people wisely in peacetime, we need need a respected warrior to lead us to victory. Ugh. Ugh. Heck no. Compared to compared to this guy? No, 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 no. Look, he's he's even matched on military no. Come on, man. Put up a better candidate. We're reinforcing, but we have plenty of manpower, actually. Not too bad, except that my ally just wasted a bunch of it. That's fine. Okay, let's grab some money. Since you're going to be my vassal, I don't care about peacetime anyway. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We've got a new vassal. Let's go ahead and start um, improving relations as soon as we can. Uh, let's see about our mission. Objectives. So we want to uh, take this one in order to complete our mission, which will cost us no uh, no monarch power. And what do we want to do? I mean, we could do we could do full annexation. This guy is already going to cost us. So let's see how much. Sixteen, and he's going to cost us forty-two. We'd also get a bunch of unrest. Hmm. Hmm. Because of our government type, uh, diplomatically annexing um, uh, vassals is going to be a little bit longer than I'd like. So let's just go ahead and let's just take this province. We'll eventually get a mission to uh, clear them out. Although they'll probably move away at some point, which is fine. We'll just wait for them to come back. Okay, I think that's good. Excellent. There we go. Ten, uh, fifteen administrative power. Hey, that pretty much covered the uh, cost of it. Sangha. Osage. Sorry. Hey, we already have reason to go to war again. Isn't that great? Do I not have military access from them? I guess I don't. Let's go ahead and get that. So that we don't have to travel through uncolonized land. Alright, we're gonna go to war with Osage. Yeah, I think so. No real reason not to. They're tiny. I don't think they even have any allies. Yeah. Let's go for it. Who's our rival? Chakota. Which is fine. We already got some. Um, yeah, let's go for Osage. And let's go for... Hmm, we could go for Creek, but I'd like to maintain their relation for just a little bit more. So maybe we'll get a mission immediately after this to remove Kato. Okay, we'll just wait one more... Yeah, that should be fine. Now we can go to war. Hmm. Nah, we don't need you, Creek. Okay. So this time, because uh, we don't really... How are we doing on reinforcements? We don't need our leader there. And we don't need all of our troops there either. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that. Um. 
Hmm. It looks like Creek joined into the war. I thought you didn't have any allies. You sneaky... Mm. Well, that's an interesting development. Um, but it looks like I'm out of time for this episode. So we'll just have to see how this goes in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.